Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Silver's Rayleigh is one of the most powerful pirates of the previous generation, being an extremely skilled sword where he was equal to his captain Goldie Roger. Now because he has such great fame and notoriety, this opens up a great possibility that he could end up teaching Zoro some new sword techniques. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the possibility and then comment on the reasons that would lead to this event happening and the advantages Zoro could gain from this intense training from Rayleigh. But before we dive into the video. If you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like and even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it continues to motivate us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, ever since Zoro crossed paths with the Straw Hats, it was evident that he was a swordsman with formidable skills. And from his very first appearance, Zoro made it quite clear that his goal was to become the greatest swordsman in the world. This unwavering determination of Zoro's, combined with his natural talent for battle, would not go unnoticed by Rayleigh's watchful eyes. Now, Rayleigh is a former member of the legendary Goldie Roger crew, and Rayleigh has been involved in countless battles, as well as witnessed some of the greatest battles in the world put on by the greatest warriors at the time. Rayleigh's experience enabled him to quickly assess the potential of this great pirate, and Zoro would be no exception. So throughout his adventures with the Straw Hats, Zoro has repeatedly demonstrated his ability to cut down more and more powerful enemies with precision, strength, as well as agility. Furthermore, Zoro's tireless work ethic could never go unnoticed because he's always strived to push his limits, trained even harder in moments of rest, and is constantly looking for new techniques and refining his existing skills. That kind of dedication and willingness to improve would resonate deeply with Rayleigh, who in turn knows how essential the pursuit of excellence is in becoming a master swordsman. In all of his battles against powerful enemies, Zoro has shown courage and relentless determination, and has refused to give up even in the face of seemingly insurmountable situations. So this personality trait, combined with his prowess in battle, makes him an ideal candidate to become an exceptional swordsman under Rayleigh's further tutelage. Also, Zoro's recognition as a promising warrior could also be heightened through interactions and conversations between Rayleigh and other members of the Straw Hat crew. Perhaps Luffy, the captain of the Straw Hats, might have mentioned Zoro's goal of becoming the greatest swordsman in the world highlighting his incredible combat skills. By considering all these traits and observations, Rayleigh could see in Zoro a kindred spirit to his own during his youthful times with Roger, and he would recognize in Zoro the potential to become a formidable force in the world of piracy as well as swordsmanship. Therefore, Rayleigh might see an opportunity in a way to honor the legacy of the past and help and shape and guide the future of the pirate world through training such a promising talent as Roanoa Zoro. Now, of course, Rayleigh is a legendary figure in the world of One Piece, and he is known as the Dark King Silver's Rayleigh, and he was once the vice captain of Goldie Roger, the legendary pirate king himself. And during his journey along the Grand Line, Goldie Roger achieved the title of Pirate King and reached the legendary One Piece, a priceless treasure hidden on the very last island in the world, Laptail. As Roger's right-hand man, Rayleigh was well aware of the great pirate's temperament, personality, and his ambition. And he witnessed firsthand Roger's passion and desire to conquer the seas, as well as unlock the mysteries of the world. It was this very shared experience with the Pirate King that created such a unique connection between Rayleigh and Luffy. Because when Rayleigh met the young pirate, he could see a spark of the very same flame that burned inside of Roger in our favorite rubber captain. So it was for that reason that Rayleigh trained Luffy. And now, seeing that Zoro has that same determination to make his captain King of the Pirates, this might make him help Zoro to become even stronger. And that way, he can be a pillar for his captain and achieve that same great goal just as Rayleigh did for Roger. In fact, Rayleigh may even see Zoro as the possible kind of spiritual heir of his will. Not necessarily a direct successor, but definitely someone who could carry on his will and the legacy of the former Roger crew. This might also create a certain sense of responsibility in Rayleigh to pass on his knowledge and experiences to Zoro, thus ensuring that the spirit of his former resolve continues to live on through his disciple. These emotional and symbolic ties between Rayleigh and Zoro could actually be the decisive factors that would lead him to offer his training to Zoro and thus help the young sword swordsman to become even more powerful and get closer and closer to his goal of becoming the greatest swordsman in the world. Zoro would also recognize the fact that Rayleigh is an extremely skilled figure in many areas of combat, as well as his mastery of hockey, because it's known throughout the One Piece world. As vice captain of Goldie Roger's crew, just like Zoro is to Luffy, Rayleigh faced countless battles and challenges, which allowed him to deepen his understanding and use the various forms of hockey. So as an experienced hockey user, Rayleigh would undoubtedly sense Zoro's potential in 
mastering these skills in his own sword fight. And the ability to anticipate opponent's movements could greatly improve Zoro's effectiveness in combat, allowing him to react quickly and avoid surprise attacks. In addition to helping Zoro increase his strength and resistance of his sword techniques, by coating his blade with hockey, Zoro could learn to cut through even tougher materials, such as the iron body or even the toughest skin. And this would expand his attacking options and make him an even more formidable force against powerful enemies. Since Zoro has only recently learned how to include Conqueror's hockey with his attacks, Rayleigh would be able to increase that ability with proper training. And Zoro would be able to incorporate these hockey techniques into his existing sword skills, allowing him to take his fighting ability to even greater heights. And the goal would be to harmoniously integrate hockey with his unique sword style, and thereby revolutionize the art of swordsmanship itself. Because we are in this final saga, we don't exactly have the ability for a time skip to occur. So Rayleigh might even believe that Zoro is the type of swordsman who can grasp and master these hockey techniques quickly and efficiently. Because Zoro's relentless dedication and determination to become the best swordsman in the world indicates that he would be able to rise to any challenge of learning and mastering hockey, just as he has overcome so many other obstacles along his journey. Plus, training with Rayleigh would also teach Zoro many advanced techniques and secrets that only an experienced hockey user could give. And this would include information on how to expand and enhance hockey for specific uses, as well as how to control his Conqueror's Hockey, that rare and powerful ability that one must be born with. Thus, Rayleigh would see in Zoro an opportunity to cultivate an exceptional swordsman, someone who not only possesses a great natural talent, but also has the potential to master hockey, and in this way, take the art of the sword to an unimaginable level of power and efficiency. As we've seen throughout the Straw Hats journey, the New World is an extremely dangerous and challenging region in the world of One Piece. It's the second sea of the Grand Line that's known for being home to some of the most powerful enemies and hostile territories that pirates will ever face. Since Rayleigh is someone who once sailed these very waters of the New World alongside Goldie Roger, he knows firsthand the dangers that await the adventurers in this region. So by training Zoro, Rayleigh could prepare him to face the greatest threats that are yet to come in this final saga. Now, as Vice Captain and Right Hand Man to Luffy, Zoro is often responsible for defending the crew against formidable enemies when their captain is unable to, or at least absent to do so. So his role as the crew's protector is vital. So training with Rayleigh could allow him to further develop his defensive and strategic skills to further ensure the safety of his teammates. Additionally, Zoro might actually come across other talented swordsmen in the New World, and some who might even challenge him to go after Mihawk to become the greatest swordsman in the world. But by training with Rayleigh, Zoro would continue to hone his dueling skills and learn these new techniques to take on these skilled opponents that we haven't met yet. One last important factor is Rayleigh's understanding of the power of willpower as well as resilience, because he knows what it takes to survive in the new world, and that Zoro needs that unshakable inner strength to overcome the adversity and never lose the will to keep moving forward, even in the face of the greatest difficulties. So for all these reasons and more, Rayleigh might deem it absolutely essential to train Zoro to help him face the impending dangers that the end of the new world has, and ensure that he is fully prepared to fulfill his promise to become the greatest swordsman in the world, as well as protect his comrades in the Straw Hats. So training with Rayleigh would not only strengthen Zoro's abilities, but would also continue to mold his character into the true warrior that he wishes to become, one who can overcome any challenge on his journey and achieve all the goals, and also see that all of his compatriots achieve their goals as well. So with all that said, my friends, we'd now love to know what you think about it. What do you think about this possibility of Rayleigh training Zoro? And when do you think it might happen? In fact, we know that Rayleigh is out there and he might even be looking to join up with Luffy, especially after everything that happened on Amazon Lily with Blackbeard. So how do you think that might turn out? What kind of event might bring Rayleigh and the rest of the Straw Hats together? Because we do have this huge mess that's about to come to a head on Egghead Island. So when do you think Rayleigh might show? During this epic battle that's about to take place on Egghead? Or will it happen more like when the Straw Hats make it to Elbaf? Let us know what you think about all this in the comments below. So as we wrap up our video, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.